algorithms. What are algorithms and why do we need them? Well, first of all, in this video we're going to look at understanding what algorithms are we're going to, and then hopefully be able to produce algorithms in pseudocode or flowcharts to solve computer problems. So an algorithm is a sequence of instructions for a computer to follow to solve a problem. Algorithms can be represented in pseudocode or as flowcharts. Whichever is easier for you, basically. So let's have a look at an example. Write an algorithm for a ticket machine where people can purchase and collect tickets with coins. So what are the steps? First of all, you're going to have to let the user select the ticket they want to buy. Then the user will have to pay with coins. Now, you're probably going to put more than one coin in. And then it's going to print the tickets. Can you spot the iteration? Now, I want you to stop the video and see if you can draw the flowchart for this algorithm. So I'm guessing you've stopped the video now and you've drawn it. So let's have a look at the um, steps. Now the iteration is the coins bit. You're going to have to make sure there's a part inside that um, as soon as you enter more coins, enter more coins and you enter a coin, if they haven't paid enough, then they've got to go back. So here I've put, if they've not paid enough to the coins, go back to step two. And then finally print the tickets. So here's my flowchart. I've got a start, I've got my input, I've got You've got a process to get the ticket price, You've got to import coins, add that coin to the total paid. Is the total paid smaller or equal to the ticket price? If it is smaller, then um, they have not put enough money in, and then it goes round and round and round. I've just realised I've made a slight mistake on my slide when total paid should not be equal to, because if have, it is equal to, that means they've paid enough. So that um, decision there should be total paid is smaller than ticket price, not smaller or equal to. Um, so if it is, if, if not, then they've paid enough, so it prints the ticket and then it's the end of the program. Now, if I slide slightly over, you can see the flowchart again. And um, there's the pseudocode for it. So input, ticket selection, input, uh, sorry, it gets the ticket price, total paid set to zero, so we're setting a variable as an empty variable, so I can add to it. I've got a while loop, again, I've just realised it should be smaller than, not smaller or equal to them, and then, and then a while, print ticket. But if you don't want to use a while loop and you want to use a repeat loop, you can still do that. So in the middle, I'll just change it to repeat my code and then until at the bottom. So, you might be given a algorithm in your exam and you've got to spot the error. So, let's look at this. Can you spot the error? Seen it yet? Okay, simply, it's that. As you can see, the while number is smaller than zero. If you input a number bigger than zero, the number is going to times by two. So it's always it's going to be in an infinite, infinite loop. It's, the number is always going to get bigger, so the program is never going to end. So, top tips when writing an algorithm. We read the question first. Highlight any key parts. Make sure you don't miss anything out. Break it down into steps. Can you spot any patterns? Is what's the iteration? There's you, there probably will be some iteration somewhere. Any conditions? You might need to have some if statements. So there's probably some selection required. Then you can produce your flowchart or pseudocode depending on what the question's asking. If the question doesn't specify, it probably means you can choose flowcharts or pseudocode, it's your choice. But make sure you read the question, because if the question is asking for flowcharts or pseudocode, then they want whatever they're asking for. Okay, so give it a go. Can you write an algorithm for a program to count the number of words in a given sentence? I'll give you a hint. Think about how humans will count the number of words in a sentence, and, see, and then see if there's any kind of um, steps that you can do. Uh, to help you with that. Break it down, I'll, give, I'll go back, break it down, spot the patterns, see if you need any selection, but, um, then produce your flowchart in pseudocode or as a flowchart. So, uh, I'm not going to put the answer on this, I want you to give it a go, you can give it to me in school and let, let me have a look at the answer and if you got it right, fantastic. So, we've looked at algorithms and producing in pseudocode or flowcharts. If you need any extra help, I'm going to link it to, I'm going to link these buttons here to BBC Bite Size and to the Cambridge 
GCSE computing website where more videos are available.